Mr. Carlson, do you know why I'm here? You're here to uh, consult me, am I right? Not exactly. I'm here to see what's wrong. I'm here to find the trigger to reality. I'm not following. No, <laughs> of course you don't. Your kind never do. My kind? Yes. You see, Mr. Carlson, everything you do, your life is directly intertwined with the legitimate and fabricated threads of everyday acts. You may think you're living a good life right now. You may think you're eating good food, sleeping in a warm bed, but you're not living normally. I beg your pardon? I believe that my life is perfectly normal. I don't see the problem here. When was the last time you slept, Mr. Carlson? Well, last night, of course. What did your pillow look like? <laughs> it was, uh... Do you remember how big it was? Well, it's kind of funny. I, I don't seem to remember. What does that have to do with anything? Everything. I think that'll do it for today's session. Today's session? What do you, what do you Can want? You remember what your pillow looks like. Then we'll talk. Good night, Henry. Hey, what is this? Honey. George, is that you? My goodness, where have you been? Are you hurt? No, no, no. I can call the police. I'm fine. I'm fine. Well, where are you? I'll come pick you up right now. I can get Margaret to watch the kids Sylvia, and... listen to me. What is it, George? I'm not coming back. What? I'm leaving, Sylvia. I'm taking the next train and I won't come back. I can't come back. Yes. But what about your family? Our family? I've thought it through. What about our kids, George? Are you going to abandon them too? How dare you think you can just up and leave whenever you- You think I want to do this? Do you think that one day I just simply decided to leave my precious kids and my beautiful wife? Come home, George. The kids need you. I need you. I'm sorry, Sylvia. George, no! Forgive me.